Pinchy Al here, and with my assistant, Mark. Hey, Mark. Say hey. hi, Mark. Hi. Jeez. <laughs> so serious. So, um, we are here with a special box, and this box is from Kerma TDI. Now, these guys are awesome. They just tuned my uh, Mark 6 GDI, GDI, TDI wagon, and I got an intake from them. So we're going to show you guys what it looks like. So another episode here at PTL's Garage unboxing. So let's check this out. So on this box, we're going to cut it open. This is actually, I haven't even opened it yet. So we got to unbox this bad boy. Now we're going to give you guys a DIY as well on how to open, I know how to open, how to install this. And we're going to give you some sound clips of sock and with Kerma's cool intake. We're going to see how cool this intake is. I hope it's super cool. Now here's a random box. Let's open it up. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. I see a cool black box here. Ooh, wee. What is this? Oh man, oh! Please check your email from Kerma and follow the instructions. Oh my god, I got the Pro Tune! Yeah, buddy! We're gonna show you guys how to use this. Super, super cool. Thanks, Kale. I am excited, super excited for this. And then they provide you the OBD2, uh, OBD11 actually, uh, cable to tune and flash your car. Now, there was a video that I showed you guys earlier that we pulled out the ECU. The reason why we pulled the ECU out is for Kerma to make a copy of it, uh, just in case we have to reflash the car back to stock. Uh, they had to do a full clone. And the reason for this, so you guys understand this, is that they have a clone and you reflash it, it does not affect, affect your flash count on your ECU so if the dealer sees this you can kinda get around that and the dealer can't really void your warranty because they don't see that. Super super cool. Um, ooh, round tire gauge. What is this? What? Oh, oh, they hook it up. Did you just hook it up with a tire gauge? Just completely random? Awesome. Really awesome random tool. <laughs> Can't complain. Let's see here. <laughs> I got a bag of gummy bears. Can't complain at all. Here you go, Mark. <laughs> oh, we got a Kerma TDI air freshener. Definitely going to be sporting that. Oh, that thing's strong. Kerma TDI bumper sticker. Definitely going to go on the wall of stickers, which I only have one right now. So, number two. Dude, all right. I opened the smallest box and I'm already super happy. So, here comes the big part. Oh, man. Already seen some cool stuff. So, we got silicone couplers in bright blue. Very, very nice. And one, two, three. Oh, these are four ply. Very, very nice. Okay. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh man, damn, they package is really nice. What? This is made out of whoa. See that? That is metal. Ain't no cheap plastic here, guys. This is the uh, the pretty much um, direct intake or um, I forgot the name for it. There's a uh, specific name for it. Um, but yeah, this is the actual intake portion. Um, that goes right in front underneath the hood. That is very cool. Put that down there. And I got my can of Folgers, <laughs> aka the uh, the rest of the intake. 
very very cool already liking this gorgeous gorgeous we got the Kerma TDI logo on it got a really really nice clean cone filter inside inside this little like enclosure I like this enclosure it looks really cool um, very very nice intake setup so my guess uh, let's see right here right here probably goes here and this one or it's probably the other way around there's no instructions it's probably online instructions but we're going to show you how to do this correctly by uh, messing it up to begin with and then doing it right afterwards <laughs> I guess they increase the diameter of this compared comparison to stock um, to increase flow but yeah it's actually a really really cool intake um, and all the clamps needed for the install one two three four yep so that is the current unboxing right now and I am super stoked already out of the box with all my extra goodies here I mean I got a tire gauge two air fresheners gummy bears bumper sticker and my software all in one box I mean what else could you ask for guys you know what we're gonna ask for we're gonna do a DIY with me and Mark so stay tuned because this is Bean Chow's Garage and as always we're gonna break fix and repeat so peace out everyone and we'll see you next time on the episode on how do we get this all taken care of so the first thing we're gonna do on that is gonna be a DIY on how to install the intake, then we're going to do a DIY on how to use the, Q, the Q Pro Plus from Kerma TDI. See you guys later. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.